So the first thing we're going to talk about is study plan. So let's make sure that you guys get all the right tools. So the first thing is you got to make sure that you have the specifications and the reference handbook, right? The specifications has uh, you make sure that you guys download it, but it also has the information, the subjects, the subtopics that you need to know for your FE exam. So print it out if you need to, and then just go over it. Okay. One thing Malik did when he was studying for his FE is after he finished the subjects or the subtopics, he would highlight it like it's done, right? So if you want to do that, go ahead and do that. So that way you make sure that you're not skipping anything and you're studying everything, okay? The other thing we have is the reference handbook. One, make sure that you get the latest one. So they just changed the reference handbook. Now they have the latest one. So make sure that you guys go to your NCS uh, login, uh, go to your NCS account, log in, and then download it. It's the 10.2 version. And just for those of you guys who had the oldest one, there were no major changes. Uh, they only added a few tables and they removed one table in transportation. And then they added another table under transportation and then also under surveying. And then the rest, they just changed the equation and rearranged it. So nothing to worry about if you are already preparing for your FE, but just keep that in mind and make sure you use the latest one. Another thing you want to make sure that you do is make sure that you guys use the reference handbook as a PDF. Don't use it as a book, okay? We had a student, Dave, who started to use it as a book, and then it really took him time to switch and shift to the, to the reference handbook as a PDF. Now, the reason why you want to have the reference handbook as a PDF is because on the FE exam, that's how you're going to have it, right? And so you got to make sure that you remember where the equations are so that you can be faster at solving problems. The other thing you want to make sure that you get is the calculator, okay? My favorite one is TIT 36X Pro. I really like this calculator just because like uh, in college, I used to use TI 89. And when I started using this, I felt like there were a lot of similarities. So it was easier for me to learn it. It was faster. Uh, it can do a lot of functions and it can do a lot of functions fast as well compared to certain calculators, which can save you time during the exam, right? Like for example, integration, I heard from students that some calculators might take longer versus this one. It usually doesn't take that, that much time. Now, it doesn't matter really which calculator you use. What's important is that whatever calculator you decide to use, make sure that you know it really well. Make sure that you know how to use all the functions, especially under statistics and probability and math. Right. You don't want to be going to the exam and doing, you know, trying to find the standard uh, uh, deviation, right? Because that's going to take you so much time if you do that by hand. Uh, even integrals, even though you might know how to do it, just use it in the calculator. It's going to give you the right answer and you, and you don't have to do the extra steps and it will save you a lot of time. Matrices, all of that. So make sure that you guys know how to use it. The other thing is make sure that you guys uh, get notebooks per topic, right? So make sure that you guys, when you are taking notes, don't combine math with statistics or static, just have them separate. This is gonna help you when you are reviewing the sections, which we'll talk about in a little bit, how it's important to have review sessions. And so when you are gonna be reviewing, it's gonna help you with memory, it's gonna help you recall and remember the information for your FE, okay? And then the last thing is the cheat sheet. So we did create a cheat sheet for our students and also for, uh, for everyone. So we are gonna be sharing with you guys by the end of this webinar if you haven't, if you don't have it yet. Uh, so we'll share it with you guys at the end and then also make sure that you create your own as well. Now, a lot of times I get this question from students, what should I include in the cheat sheet? So usually what I tell students is that make sure that you guys include equations that are not on the reference handbook, right? So for example, if you take a look at the circle of the equation, if you have to complete the square one, the reference handbook doesn't tell you that you have to complete the square two, it doesn't tell you how to complete the square, right? So that's something that uh, we cover, of course, in the course. So make sure that you guys add that in your cheat sheet and make sure you know the steps on how to complete the square, when to use that and, and that stuff. So that's the first thing you can include in your cheat sheet. The second thing is concepts. As most of you guys know, the FE exam is very heavy on conceptual questions. So make sure that you guys add those concepts, definitions, all of that, add it to your cheat sheet. And then the other thing is like, if there's steps to equations that you're not sure or that you're going to remember, make sure that you add it, right? For example, like if you take a look at moment of inertia, I know this is a topic that a lot of students uh, struggle with is that because there are three ways you could get moment of inertia about the X, about the centroidal X axis or the about a given X, right? That is not at the origin. And so what you can do is in your cheat sheet is make sure that you write down the 
the, um, the, the difference between them and what equations to use for each one. So that way, right before your exam, you can go ahead and review and that information will stay in your mind. Okay, so these are all the stuff that you guys should have way before you even start studying for your FE exam. Okay, I truly believe that all of you guys can do this and you will. All right, thank you so much. Bye. Oh, yeah.